good afternoon all as i told yesterday i will be explaining you how we have to read the newspaper then i will discuss about understanding marginalization confronting mar marginalization what is this and from tomorrow onwards you are going to have geography classes very good classes then eventually you will have history classes also some sundays you will have classes now on some sundays you will have classes timings i will tell you see very important first of all i should take in the beginning only how to read the newspaper reading newspaper is very important not from the perspective of marx everything we should not see from the perspective of marx knowledge is important with my experience i came to a conclusion 100% i came to a conclusion that the people who are getting respected the people who are getting respected not because of position not at all because of money not at all because of degrees also it is because of knowledge for example i am there suddenly i worked in one of the public sector undertaking there what happened in that public sector undertaking one decade back all old people are there public sector 1970s recruitment happened then again the recruitment stopped then again fresh started from 2000 onwards so what happened these people are reluctant for computers they don't want to computerization in the departments why because they don't know and they don't want to learn also old people they will learn na they are, they will will they will be ready our parents not parents nowadays parents are okay but little bit village parents also they don't know how to use smartphones village parents also mothers also they don't know how to use smartphones and they don't try to learn also why because their intellectual capacity will not allow them to learn new things in the same way when i was working one one old lady was been there as my colleague so what i did you will laugh what i did so she told me that the information is there in this document you call, you you type this information in this she told then what i did i copied it and pasted it and she hurry how it happened she was been typing she was looking and she is typing she was looking and she was typing then she told i am mera mere se nahi hoga i cannot do it now now you only type ah okay madam i was seeing she was typing letter to i was <laughs> then she asked me then what i did i copied it and pasted i pasted it then are 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 how it happened how it happened means sir then she started telling to everyone it's a very small thing that is knowledge here also if ac something happens we don't know where to keep the plug we don't know where to one person will come and he will do this thing and he will ask for 500 rupees for i what you did man only one second work no whether you know i don't know i know so you have to pay so that is called as knowledge so this newspaper is also this newspaper is also will give us knowledge let it be any newspaper upsc demand knowledge and that knowledge can be by reading newspaper number 1 so first reasoning why you have to read the newspaper is in order to accumulate the knowledge number 1 number 2 after knowledge what sir after all after knowledge what is the second thing means in upsc point of view we want to develop vocabulary we need to develop technical jargon which is called as technical jargon in order to have the technical jargon in order to develop the vocabulary we have to read the newspaper in newspaper we will be getting proper vocabulary a upsc aspirant how much vocabulary he required that vocabulary will be in this newspaper so for this two things if you read a newspaper automatically you will get the marks we have to do our karma we should not expect any results automatically the results will follow so we have to focus on our karma what we are doing what we should do so one of the most important aspect for an civil aspirant is reading newspaper how to read newspaper sir i will just give within 5 minutes that is enough take the newspaper take a pen take a pen every day newspaper average you will have minimum 3 articles to read minimum 3 articles to read maximum 4 articles to read that's it means what minimum 3 maximum 4 if you are reading more than 4 means you are doing something wrong so minimum 3 hoga maximum 4 hoga so 3 articles how to identify it sir so when we open the newspaper 
we opened the newspaper. So, here the major information we will be getting, this is the news, this is news, the news will change, understand my point, news will change, today's news is not tomorrow's news. So, you should not keep complete focus on news, only headlines, act against communal hate, Supreme Court tells to two states. So, Supreme Court is telling that Himachal Pradesh and Uttarakhand both are BJP ruled states, hate speeches are increasing day on day. Supreme Court warned that governments, what you people are doing, why you are doing so much, why you are spreading so much of hate, it is not necessary, this, that is only an information. More COVID jabs for children to get, not at all a information. CM cautions people against cheap politics, we, we are not bothered about state politics, we are not at all bothered about state politics, finish. I, I had a pen with me, I did not keep any tick for any article up to now. Second, I went. This is all Hyderabad news, Delhi news. If it is a Delhi newspaper, if it is a Trivandrum newspaper, you will be having Trivandrum. N local news not required, remove. Second, third. Fourth, opportunities not required, advertisements not required. Fifth, not required, opportunities. Sixth, state specific news will be there, Kerala specific, Telangana specific, Delhi specific, state specific, union territory specific, not required. Then, South India, North India sp specific, then we have to wait here. Some news might be important, read the headlines. Indian Ness, the only caste Prime Minister. Indian Ness, the only caste Prime Minister. This is quotation, do not read the news, only headlines. This should be in your notes. When you are writing about caste system, when you are writing about unity and diversity, when you are writing about any essay, try to add this point. Prime Minister of India told that Indian Ness itself is a caste. We have only one caste, that caste name is called as Indianness. So, when you are writing an essay, if you start like this, the Indianness is the only caste of India, why be people are fighting with each other? Our identity is India. So, a, a, para, a complete very beautiful paragraph has been completed. So, proverb, what is the proverb? I got from newspaper only, no? this is textbook, I buy data, daily newspaper. Indianness, the only caste, what we are identifying? How we are identifying and how I am applying is very, very important. That you have to get. I will not read, I understood what he will tell. I know what he will tell. So, I no need to read about the news. I got the headlines. Next. Nothing is there. Then I will come to the editorial again. Do not read this big, big editorials. Read this. Read this. This will be significant for UPSC. This part this part, this part, this part, this part. Buying free speech, Elon Musk should not do away with safeguards Twitter has built against hate speech, not required for us. Myopic view, sports person should not be penalized for the actions of their political leaders, not required. Sometimes here also there is a required articles will be there. Then I will look into it. Macarons re-election a victory with challenges, not at all required for you. French elections, only name you remember. And impact on India, impact on India, because of Macarons elections, what will be the impact on India? But such type of questions are not there since one decade, do not waste time. Mission Antyodaya should not fall by the wayside, you have to understand what is Mission Antyodaya. This might be a news, then I will tick this. Why? Because I want to know about Mission Antyodaya. What is this Mission Antyodaya? One article I identified. Within 5 minutes, I identified one article and that article I am going to read. Next. India as a democratic superpower, the country is more than capable of providing leadership that the world often needs, not required. A splintered nerve center, nothing, nothing. Again here, letters to the editor will be there they will give their opinions. It, it will also take 10 minutes, read this, you will get an opinion. For example, in the yesterday stop food wastage, opinions will come up, letter to the editor, that column you have to read, so you will get an opinion of different people. Then I will go back, then I will go back, there will be no winner in Ukraine war. If you read Russia-Ukraine war news, you are the fool, it is a war, it goes on. You will, your two attempts will complete, but the Russia-Ukraine war will go on. What we have to read, you know, we have to read only the conclusion. 
means fool means why i am telling that word means the time will go on war means day on day day on day development will happen development will happen development will happen development will happen develop but finally what we want conclusion when this war will come to an end that day you have to read the newspaper why the war happened what happened in the war what is the impact of war and why the war came to an end that is your question for upsc no need to read on ukraine as well as russia war so i am not going to read about this more jo covid will list hijab plea in two days supreme court jignesh mehwani was been arrested these are political news kishor declines offer to join congress political news political news then world news 13000 distress calls during first lockdown efforts on to improve court infrastructure court infrastructure says judiciary one topic another second second itic what is that cj of india told that there is a requirement of developing court infrastructure why you know cj told a great thing what he told you know in some of the district courts there is absence of lady toilets women toilets are in court in judiciary if there is no lady toilets means how absence of infrastructure no so first we have to develop infrastructure then you can provide justice first you provide a toilet then you can give the justice cj he recognizes the small small things makes a big difference you write the same in your answer the person who is evaluating your answer will give you marks are very good analysis he understood small small things but small small things but a very big things no it will have a very big impact efforts on to improve court infrastructure says cj this i will read central government and netflix launch partnership with two minute films high court orders audit of cctv footages nothing ed upcom political news china has no easy exit strategy from zero covid no three chinese among four killed in pak blast yesterday one woman she a woman became a suicide bomber yesterday near karachi university it is live it is there in the videos also when the chinese students are coming from the bus she came near the bus and she had herself is a suicide bomber that is there but that is not every day one bombing will be there in pakistan leave it how many i got news today how much time i took in 10 minutes i identified two articles overall i am going to read for 30 minutes sir you are experienced person sir you can do it you are comparing with me means you do the same daily you also do the same thing if you do the same thing minimum 2 3 3 3 articles maximum 4 articles you should not read more also macarons one article you can add so overall it is 3 3 minimum maximum 4 this is the way you have to read you have to tick it in the first reading you have to tick which articles you are going to read in the second trip you have to read those articles which i ticked it so in the second in the second round whether i am reading other articles whether i am looking at it no no why because i already ticked it only those only i am looking it so time is saved my energy is saved most important is energy conservation energy neither be created nor be destroyed just it should be conserved we have to how much energy we conserve that much active we will be there simply simply if we waste energy we will lose energy and we will become dumb so in the reading newspaper you should not put much energy why because you have to put your energy for reading other quality books other standard books exam oriented books newspaper minimum 30 minutes maximum 1 hour if you are reading more than 1 hour means finish you are into the well in front crocodile festival so what 30 minutes minimum 30 minutes to read the newspaper maximum 1 hour for reading the newspaper in this way you have to read theek hai got it so in our regular class we are doing ncert class 8 chapter 8 means 8th class unit 8 Seventh is pending. I will do the seventh and I will come. Understanding marginalization. Understanding marginalization. Eighth class. What all we studied? First unit, constitution. Second unit, secularism. Very good. Third unit, parliament. Fourth unit, judiciary. Fifth unit, law making. Sixth unit, 
police criminal justice and now understanding marginalization chapter 7 of unit class 8 of unit 7 anjali yado i liked the way you taught regarding newspaper yes in that like that only you have to do okay so understanding marginalization in 7th unit i will be discussing about adivasis and minorities in the 8th unit i will be discussing about scheduled caste exclusively about scheduled caste dalits understanding marginalization how anyone what is marginalization means marginalization means a person who is away from the mainstream he got marginalized margin will be there in the paper margin means side so they got side tracked they are not in the mainstream they are not part of the mainstream society they are not part of the regular society those are called as marginalized societies tribals adivasis whether they are living with the mainstream people whether they are living in the urban areas whether they are living with the main mainstream people or whether they are living in the forest areas they are living in the forest areas the very best example of marginalization is adivasis sts are considered as marginalized society in anthropology optional we will be learning more about tribal people but here we will be understanding up to a limit acha these people are tribals marginalized people are tribals adivasis means original inhabitants they are original inhabitants what is the meaning of original inhabitants sir who are the original people of the land who are original people of the land means whose birth happened in india they are not uh, the people who came from any other place their birth their genesis their ancestors everyone is from this particular land those people are called as original inhabitants adivasis are named as original inhabitants they live in continuous association with forest the tribals the adivasis will be living in continuous association with forests around 8 percentage of indian population around 8 percentage of indian populations are yestis scheduled tribes means tribes adivasis original inhabitants around 8 percentage of indian population around 8 percent of india's population is adivasis most of the industrial centers are located in adivasi areas like once upon a time you know jamshedpur is now famous for what tata steel plant now jamshedpur is a famous for tata steel plant you know but before this tata steel plant which is there in jamshedpur there were tribals deep forest deep 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 forest was been there but iron was also there beneath the forest so peoples the corporates ice fallen onto the forest they want the iron so started deforestation not only deforestation the tribal people who are living in this forest area were been displaced they were been thrown out now what happened a steel plant got established in the deep forest where the tribal people used to live for example jamshedpur rorkela odisha rorkela odisha bokaro steel plant bilai steel plant these are the famous steel plants of india these are the famous industries of india but before these industries came into existence they were the deep forest areas where the tribal people used to live there tribals used to happily live in that particular area but mainstream people came into this area for the sake of mines mining minerals steel aluminum coal bokaro is famous for coal quality coal bokaro steel plant steel is there as well as coal availability is also there adivasis are not homogeneous population understand this adivasis are not homogeneous tribals are not homogeneous means gond santal koya toda kasi oron munda bil baiga naga mezo different 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 tribal people are there not one identity different 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 identities are there so different different identities are there means heterogeneous or homogeneous heterogeneous so tribal identity in india is a heterogeneous concept but not homogeneous concept why because nearly 700 tribal communities are there in india means 700 identities are there 
seven hundred identities means heterogeneous or homogeneous? Heterogeneous. There is diversity among the tribal people also. Every tribal community is a distinct tribal community. Every tribal community is in a distinct arena. So, Adivasis are not homogeneous population. There are five hundred different groups of tribal groups. Five hundred, more than five hundred. As I am an anthropologist, I know exact number. But this is NCERT book. so they are generalists so they generally wrote to 500 tribal groups are there but i am an anthropologist i know each and every tribal group 752 tribal groups are there in india 752 tribal groups are there in india. there are 60 groups of tribals in odisha only in odisha odisha is the largest tribal community in india which state is having largest tribal groups means odisha Adivasi societies are almost distinctive because there is always a little hierarchy among them. There is no hierarchy. You know the beauty of tribals. The beauty of tribals. I did field works. In the process of doing my anthropological research, Savara tribal community on the border of Odisha and Andhra Pradesh, Sri Kakulam, other away from Sri Kakulam area. You know, there will be no hierarchy. Egalitarianism. equality will be there there is no distinction you are superior i am inferior you are women i am men no such distinction men and women both are equal there is no superior there is no inferior so tribal communities are what egalitarian communities egalitarian means what sir equality all the tribal communities are egalitarian communities there is no distinction between the superiority or inferiority there is no distinction between the men and women there is no caste system within the tribal groups so tribal groups are egalitarian groups that is the reason what i told there is always a little hierarchy among them means small small hierarchy is there little hierarchy is there like priest non priest priest non priest if not like our people brahmana kshatriya vaishya shudra such type of hierarchy is absent in tribal people so tribals are more of egalitarianism tribals are more of equality tribals is less with respect to what hierarchy this is the tribal way of living in this way the tribals will be living like this they will be looking it is there in the ncert book the figures are from the ncert books here there are if you if you if you can find there are some here berard colis bills jaitwas sammas argunas langas kons koyas badagas different different tribal people are living in india nearly 750 tribal communities are living in india adivasis have their own religion you know adivasis have their own religion they are not part of hinduism they are not part of christianity they are not part of islam they have their own religion what type of religion sir some people will be worshiping nature some tribal groups will be worshiping nature some tribal groups will be worshiping souls atma souls which atmas are ancestors they believe that when their ancestor dies the ancestor who died will be roaming in the cosmos in the form of souls so they started worshiping souls soul worship is there nature worship is there animal worship is there so different types of religious systems are present in tribal communities there is mainstream religions are totally absent adivasis doesn't have mainstream religion adivasi have their own religion this often involve worship of ancestors worship of ancestors nature spirits nature spirits village spirits and mountain spirits they worship for the village there will be a spirit the spirit will be protecting the village there will be mountain spirit they believe that the mountain spirit where they have the livelihood like forest they will be worshiping the spirits so different different spirits will be when they worship ancestor spirit they worship in the home when they worship village spirit or mountain spirit there will be sacred groves the tribals will go to the sacred groves and they will be worshiping avatar movie in avatar movie there will be sacred groves will be there what is the prob- what is the story of avatar movie james cameron what is that story there is a sacred groves in sacred groves some gold or some minerals are there indians found indian means world our earth people found there is some minerals so they want to come so these are avatar people are there who are avatar tribals it's a comparison with indian tribals only 
so comparison with tribals they want to chase this sacred groves but they don't want to leave this sacred groves the same thing same thing happened in india by a tribal community called as there is one tribal community called as dongriya kond dongriya kond in odisha they live in niyamgiri hills they believe that niyamgiri hills is the abode of gods like our tirumala hills the tribal people believe that this niyamgiri hills is abode of gods the sacred groves are located in this niyamgiri hills they believe that niyamgiri raja is living who is niyamgiri raja means their god vedanta mining company uk very big vedanta mining company they found aluminium is there in this niyamgiri hills inside the niyamgiri hills aluminium is there in that niyamgiri hills forest are there in that forest a tribal community is living who is the tribal community dongriya if vedanta want the aluminium first what i have to do i have to remove this dongriya kond people then i can easily do deforestation when i do easily deforestation then what i can do i can do mining so the dongriya kond people start they were been displaced state government central government supported vedanta company why because vedanta company is having what money but the dongriya is it not same with avatar movie story james cameron told after reading the story in time magazine i got the idea of the movie called as avatar it is an idea the idea got stuck in his mind after reading this this article was been published in time magazine of new york same story no niyamgiri hills is abode of gods niyamgiri hills is sacred groves if you anyone watched the avatar movie if not you watch today what there will be sacred groves those people will not allow for digging of sacred groves so that is what i am telling here the village spirits are often worshiped at specific sacred groves within the village boundary whereas ancestral ones are usually worshiped inside the house tribals are influenced by surrounding religion like hinduism islam christianity adivasi religions have influenced dominant religions of empire around them during 19th century a large number of tribals were converted to christianity mainly northeast india in northeast india majority of the tribal communities were been converted to christian why because they come under the influence of christianity not only northeast india in northeast india the tribals were been converted to christianity in central india the tribals were been converted to hinduism so they started losing their traditional religion they started deteriorating their religion and started associating with mainstream religion like what christianity islam hinduism in central india it is hinduism in northeast india it is christianity in northwest india it is islam adivasis adivasis and stereotype adivasis are portrayed in every stereotypically ways in colorful costumes headgears and through dancing if we remember adivasis if we remember any tribals how we will remember this people will be colorful this people will be wearing headgears this people will be looking like this so we will be having a specific stereotype thing tribals means gavar people will be there tribals means like like this they will be there they don't have education they don't know how to live stereotype is associated with adivasis ncert 6th class inequalities will come when there is i told you in 6th class ncert when the inequality begins when there is stereotype as well as prejudices yes or no when the inequality begins when there is stereotype and prejudices adivasi and stereotype so when the stereotype is there then the inequality begins oh tribals are a are stereotype when stereotype mentality is there obviously there will be inequality we know a very little about their real lives people strongly believe they are exotic primitive and backward adivasis are blamed for their lack of advancement as they are believed to be resistant to change or new ideas so they are more primitive they are more backward when compared to mainstream why sir they are against change they don't want to be changed they want to be how i am living i will be living like this only i don't want to change i am happy like this 
please don't want your technology we don't want your clothes we don't want anything we are happy you don't come if you don't come we will be very happy so because of that attitude what the mainstream people branded adivasis as stereotype people so when the stereotype is there obviously there will be discrimination obviously there will be inequality obviously there will be injustice adivasis and development all metal coal metal ores timber animals medicinal plants and animal products came from the forest the mainstream people hugely depended on the forest mainstream people are hugely depend on the forest mainly for the timber mainly for the animal products hunting animals eating so the mainstream people are depended upon the forest but in the forest who is living already tribals are living the mainstream hugely depend on the forest forest covered major part of the country till the 19th century till 19th century the major part of the country is forest only but with british you know if you go to british you will see the big big constructions made up of wood but there is no quality wood available in uk but how the house itself is not made by concrete the house itself is made by wood which wood india wood which wood african wood so they want what timber so by british india they started exploiting the resources of india so what they started deforestation for the sake of what timber this timber they took to this timber they took to british so in one side the british was taking the timber in another side the pushpa was taking sandalwood so in both way what happened to the forest forest deterioration forest deterioration happened and who suffering tribals adivasis had deep knowledge of this forests they were not ruled by any empires the great thing about the tribals is they are independent they are never ruled by any rulers they never claim to be we are part of this empire it might be shatavahana empire it might be the mogal dynasty it might be the delhi sultanate it might be the shivaji it might be the marathas they never became part of any kingdom they themselves were independent people that is the greatness of the tribal people from the ancient times onwards any community who lived independently means it is adivasi were not ruled by any empires in fact empires were in fact empires were depended on this tribal communities for crucial aspects of forest products in fact in fact the tribals were been in fact tribals were been independent but the mainstream people were been depending on this is some of the examples i told you now only this is niyamgiri hill located in kalahandi district of odisha inhabited by dongria kon an adivasi community a major aluminium company is planned to set up a mine refinery here which will displace the tribal community who are living in this niyamgiri hills but thanks to supreme court of india supreme court of india banned the mining in this niyamgiri hill saying that it is going to impact the life of adivasis as well as it is going to disrupt the environment pristine environment is going to disturb because of this aluminium company 50000 crore 50000 crore company went back adivasis today too are marginalized and powerless community but however today also the adivasi communities are marginalized powerless in pre colonial world they were traditionally hunter gatherers nomads lived by shifting agriculture and settled agriculture adivasis have been forced to migrate to live and construct sites and work as laborers due to the economic changes forest policies political forces applied by the state and private industry on them they were deprived of the original inhabitants by applying powerful forces according to the official figures 50% of tribals were been displaced out of india means 100% of the tribals who were been living in the forest areas 50% of the tribal people got displaced they were been removed from their forest area how sir hunting was been not allowed wildlife protection came into existence but earlier they used to do hunting and they used to eat but now hunting is a crime so they cannot do so they have to search for another livelihood in the process of searching for livelihood i have to leave my original land then what happened some muslim money lenders came they gave loans at exorbitant interest rates when they are unable to pay the when they are unable to pay back they made them as bonded laborers some tribals were been taken away to the mainstream areas come and work in this 
construction sites come and work in these industries. So, they became industrial laborers, some people became agricultural laborers, women became prostitutes. So, the complete displacement of the tribal communities happened. The complete destructions of Adivasi life happened because of contact with the mainstream. So, this is about minorities, this is about Adivasis. Class 7th, class 8th, unit 7 discussed about Adivasis. Oh, now you got the idea about Adivasis. Now you got the idea of tribals. The same thing, nothing more. The same thing we will be reading in paper to complete paper to 50 percent of the syllabus is this unit only, tribals, tribals, tribals. With examples we have to write. That is the reason anthropology optional is most performing, easy syllabus. Paper to 50 percent of the syllabus is tribals only. If you have proper notes, if you have proper idea, if you have a proper guide, enough. Next minorities, these people are also marginalized people. Next is minorities, these people are also marginalized people. What, who are these minorities? Who are this minor, these people are the minorities. Muslims, Christians, if from 2006 Buddhists, Jains, Sikhs, Parsis, another name of Parsis is Jorastianism. These people are minorities. What type of problem they used to face? Why they became marginalized? Obviously, if any community number is large and any other community number is less, majority will try to dominate minority. It is a nature, it is a natural law, it is a natural selection. If dominant community is there and, and minority community is there, the dominant community will the majority community will dominate minority community. So, obviously, the minority community will become marginalized. But in India, we try to make them to associate with the mainstream. In India, we try to make the minorities to become the part of mainstream India. Our constitution itself gives rights for the minorities. It might be the religious minorities or linguistic minorities. Religious minorities means Muslims, Christians, Buddhists, Jains, Sikhs, Parsis. Linguistic minorities means other than the mainstream language who speaks the minority language like Gondi language, like Santali language, tribal languages all are linguistic minorities. Constitution provides safeguards to religious and linguistic minorities. See minorities means not just religious minorities, minorities means religious as well as linguistic, religion based as well as language based. As a part of our fundamental right, under article tell me which article? Very good. Under article 29 and 30, article 29 only, article 29 talks about the protection of rights of religious minorities and linguistic minorities. Article 30 talks about the establishment and administering of educational institutions for religious minorities and linguistic minorities. Educational institutions is article 30, conservation and protection of minorities is 29. So, our fundamental rights itself, which is present in the constitution gave rights for minority. The term minority is most commonly used to refer to communities that are numerically small in relation to rest of the population. Minority concept encompasses the issue of power, access to resources and has social and cultural dimension. Has social and cultural dimension. Means their social living will be different, their cultural setup will be different, their way of doing marriage will be different, their way of living will be different, their way of economic system will be different, their way of dress pattern, culture means dress, their way of dress pattern is different. So, by this patterns we can come to a conclusion that whether this particular community is the mainstream community or a minority community. We all wear in this particular dress, suddenly one person came with a Dubai Sheikh dress, we will understand he is a a particular community or not? A person came with a small topi, Jewish people will be having this small, here this much only, not Muslim skull cap, Islam skull, skull cap, Jewish people will be having small this much only. If anyone is wearing this cap and coming means this person is Jewish person. So, by their attire, we can come to a conclusion that this person is a majority or a minority, a person is coming with a saffron, whether we will come to conclusion that this person is a majority person or not, yes. The Indian constitution realized that the majority influences society to protect the minorities from such influences safeguards are needed. They also protect them against any disadvantage and discrimination. The constitution provides the safeguards because it is committed to protecting India's cultural diversity and equality as well as justice. The judiciary plays an important role in enforcing fundamental right, in enforcing fundamental rights. 
So, it is a responsibility of the judiciary. In fundamental rights, minority rights are given. Whether anyone is violating the minority rights, yes. Then who will come for protection? Supreme Court. So, the minority rights are protected by which body? Supreme Court. Who gave the minority rights? Constitution. Constitution gave the minority rights and who have the right to protect this constitutional rights? Supreme Court. Muslims are considered to be marginalized society. The range of socio economic and educational indicators are very low in this community. Their social, their below poverty line is very majority of the people are belong, be, belongs to below poverty line. Their employment is very less. Their education levels are very less. Their health indicators, infant mortality rate is very high, maternal mortality rate is very high. So, their social conditions, their economical conditions, their political conditions. 14 percentage of Indian population is Muslim, but only 2 percentage of population are present in Lok Sabha. 14 percentage of Indian population is Muslim, but only 2 percentage of the population is in Lok Sabha. So, there is drastic difference. Their participation is less, their involvement is less. Means they are getting marginalized or not? In a paper, they are getting margin or not? They are going to the marginalized positions or not? Because of this evidences, I am telling that the Muslims are marginalized in India. How, sir? Are there 14 percent population is there, but their their representatives in Lok Sabha is only 2 percent? Muslim customs and practices are sometimes quite distinct from that of the mainstream. The social marginalization of Muslims led to their migrations to other places and living in often leading to, this is very important term, I told you in the beginning I will be focusing on terms, leading to ghettoization. What is this ghettoization I will tell you. What happened? A, a minority community, when they feel that I am unsafe, when the minority community they feel that may, we are unsafe, for example, you people are there, for example, 100 people are there. In that, 90 people are having same ideology, 10 people are having different ideology. So, one person is leaving, bench is here, another person place is there, another person there, another person, overall 10 people are, are isolated, are separated, are scattered. So, this 10 people are having one identity, 90 people are having common identity. So, when this 10 people will become strength, when this 10 people will become strong, when this 10 people come to a conclusion that we are distinct from the majority. So, if we are leaving here, there, 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 there is a chance that they might exploit us. There is a chance that they might press us. There is a chance that they might overcome us. So, what we will do? You leave from there, you leave from there, you leave from there, you leave from there. We all people live here. We will construct our houses and we stay together. If anyone will come to attack us, we will be strong. Why? Because united we will be strong. Divided we will fall. So, you will stay united. That at one particular place, if the people come together and stay together is called as ghettos. And the concept is called as ghettoization. Why this term came? What happened at the time of Second World War in 1940? Hitler in Germany was killing the Jewish people ruthlessly. So, Jewish want to leave, every, every, everyone want to leave, anyone who want to die, everyone want to leave. So, what this Jewish people did, they went to apartments and all the Jewish started living in apartments. 3-4 apartments, buildings, only Jewish. In 1-1 one, one flat, 20-30 people. 1-1 one, one flat, 20-30 people. If they come out, the Nazis will kill them. So, what? They stayed together. Nearly 5,000 people stayed in 4 buildings. Now, if anyone come to attack them, all people are strong and all people are coming out suddenly. So, the Nazi army is going back. So, because of staying together at one particular locality, they became strong. Nazis could not attack them. In German language, ghetto means staying together. In that way, the term called as ghettos came into existence. And the concept is called as ghettoization. In that way, mainly Muslims in India are living in ghettos. 
If you go to Hyderabad old city, Muslims are living in ghettos. If you go to Nizamuddin of Delhi, Muslims are living in old city. Any place, any place. If you go to Chennai, thousand lights, one mosque will be there. Most of the Muslims will be living in that particular area. So, they stay together, so they believe that they are strong. That particular concept is called as ghettoization. Muslims. Marginalization results in having low status and not having equal access to education and other resources. Marginalized communities should be given a chance to access to rights, development and other opportunities at the same time preserve their culture. At the same time preserve their culture. So, marginal communities, they have to preserve their culture at the same time they should also have their rights. They should also be given opportunity for their development. How? By giving them education. In that way, we can remove the marginalization which is present in the marginal community. We can remove the marginalization. Means what in our book, four lines will be there. Margins. If we remove the margins, whether that is, now suddenly I remove the margin. Whether what was written in the margin will become mainstream paper or not now. So, remove that margins. Means what? Give them development. Give them rights. Give them scope for opportunities. Then automatically they will grow and they will be not called as marginalized. Confronting marginalization. How to confront marginalization? Here we will be taking the examples of Adivasis. How they confront marginalization means how you marginalize me. I am also human being. I am also citizen of India. I also have the equal right. This is independent India. You cannot follow untouchability on me. There are some legal provisions like what? SC and ST Prevention of Atrocities Act 1989. If you, if you, if you discriminate me, if you do harassment on me, I will put a case on you. SC ST Prevention of Atrocities Act so that so that the marginalization will come down and I will be start confronting the marginalized and I will also become like a mainstream. So, how to confront marginalization? Invoking fundamental rights. It's nothing. Confronting. Earlier unit name is called as what? Understanding marginalization. This is called as confronting marginalization. How I am confronting marginalization means just by fundamental rights. Article 14, right to equality. Article 15, no discrimination on the grounds of religion, race, caste, place of birth and gender. Article 16, equality in opportunity in public employment. Article 17, abolition of untouchability. Article 18, abolition of titles. Article 19, right to speech and expression, right to freedom of speech and expression, association, assembly, movement, residence, profession. Article 20, no more arbitrary arrest. Article 21, right to life and liberty. Article 22, no preventive detention. Article 23, abolition of beggary and forced labor and bonded labor. Article 24, no child labor. Article 25, I can follow any religion, any faith according to my wish. Article 26, I can manage my own religious affairs. Article 27, I can pay tax to the religious according to my wish. You cannot force me to pay the tax. Article 28, in the educational institutions which are run by the state, there should not be any discrimination based upon the religion. Article 29, protection of minorities, either linguistic minorities or religious minorities. Article 30, Establishing of educational institutions for religious minorities and linguistic minorities. Whether these all are helping in removal of marginalization or not. Whether these all are helping in removal of marginalization or not. Whether with this fundamental rights, I am confronting marginalization. With this, nothing I want. I want fundamental rights. With this fundamental rights, I am confronting marginalization. Constitution itself provided fundamental rights. So, if these all are implemented properly, 
then marginalization will be removed. If this all are not implemented, article 30 we discussed, article 31 repealed right to property, article 32 constitutional remedies. If fundamental rights are not guaranteed, any citizen can go to the Supreme Court of India for the sake of constitutional remedy. See this government, I am, I am being an SC or I am being an ST, I am being in a minority, they are discriminating me. Supreme Court help me, then Supreme Court will help me. So, we are going to confront marginalization through fundamental. fundamental rights. How we are going to confront marginalization? Yes, by invoking fundamental rights. 15, all articles together. There are some laws also. There are some laws also, like what? SCST Prevention of Atrocities Act. SCST Prevention of Atrocities Act. Hey, you are an SC. You are a Dalit. All SCs should do manual scavenging. All SCs should do manual scavenging. Go and remove the drainage. Water there. No, I want to study. How you will study? You are already an SC. You should not study. You have to work. So, if such a sort of harassment is there. ST, you are a tribal man. You have to stay in the forest. How dare you? You will come to college. You will come to school. No, you have to go and work. So, in order to stop such a sort of atrocities. In order to stop such sort of harassment. Government apart from constitution, apart from constitutional safeguards, they made kya? Laws. Laws are made by parliament. Like what? SCST Prevention of Atrocities Act. If anyone harasses SC, if anyone harasses ST, there are laws like SCST Prevention of Atrocities Act of 1989. So, there are some laws also there. There are some laws also there in order to stop marginalization. Not only constitutional provisions like fundamental right, there are some legal provisions like laws also. There are specific laws as an effect to implement the constitutional safeguards. Both state and central government initiated several schemes in tribal areas and areas with high Dalit population. Apart from welfare policies, the government has taken steps to ensure that there is no inequality means there should be equality. The government introduced reservations for the marginalized group to give an opportunity and access to education and employment, protecting the rights of Dalits. To protect the rights of Dalits, law has been framed that is called as scheduled caste and the scheduled tribe prevention of atrocities act of 1989. You know today also in some of the villages of Uttar Pradesh and Bihar, after the marriage of an SC man, he is not allowed to have a marriage procession. Bharat. After the marriage, the groom does not have the right to have a marriage procession with the bride. You have to do the marriage and silently you have to go. If you do celebration, if you do procession, the upper caste will not allow it. You know recently one case study happened. One of the SP, IPS officer of one of the district in one of the village where the upper caste dominance is more. When he himself did marriage and he is going for marriage procession, police gave him security. Why? Because IPS officer himself is an SC. Whoever may be SC, if we do marriage and do marriage procession, we are not going to accept it. They give it, upper caste gave a dictator. So, an IPS officer who did marriage and who went on procession, marriage procession, he himself had a security. Inequality discrimination in order to stop this inequality in order to stop this prevention there are laws like prevention of atrocities scst act of 1989 this act was framed in response to the demand made by dalits against the humiliation and ill treatment they faced during 1970s and 1980s the dalit groups raised their voice refusing to perform their caste based duties and insisted on being treated equally we also want to treat equally treat us equally why you are treating us unequally? We are also human beings. We are also citizens of India. If you don't treat us equally, we will file SCST atrocities. During the same time, the Adivasi successfully organized themselves and demanded for equal rights for their land and resources to be returned. But parallelly, what is the problem with the Adivasis, you know? The problem with Dalits is, they were been living in rural India. They are part of mainstream. As they are part of mainstream, they were being discriminated by upper caste. 
but adivasis were been living in forest they are not part of mainstream but the problem is mainstream people went into the adivasi land and they took the forest area are yaar if i leave there you are following untouchability if i am leaving away you are coming and taking my land where i have to leave so scheduled tribe also started aspiring for rights you are taking our land you are taking our resources our resources forest you are taking our resources how we should live we should all we also want to live like you only you will leave i should not leave that is the question so it is not only the question of scheduled caste or dalits it is also the question of scheduled tribes who are living in forest areas we also have the equal right to live already we are living in the forest you came near me and you are throwing me out that is the problem the problem of st is land and resources the problem of sc is untouchability the problem of st is land and resources the problem of sc is untouchability discrimination inequality they had to face the anger of powerful social groups and were subject to great deal of violence the act distinguished several levels of crime it leads the models modes of humiliation that are physically horrific and morally disgusting force a member of sc or st to drink or eat any edible or obnoxious character you know if any sc person talk with a girl of upper caste that sc boy will be made to drink the urine of that particular boy obnoxious character in uttar pradesh and bihar in kerala also in travancore kingdom the sc woman is not allowed to wear the dress to the upper part of the body how dare you you also want to wear the upper part of the vest like a upper caste woman you should be separate so the level of discrimination were been very honorous so in order to stop this the legislations like sc st prevention of atrocities act of 18 1989 came into existence but however there are some places where it got misused but however there are some chances there are some places where this like a threat like a warning simply they will keep sc that sort of misuse happened but however in front of atrocities and harassment happened on sc st the misuse is very less forcibly remove clothes from person of sc or st or parade him or her naked in derogatory to human dignity sitting on the donkeys it is a common phenomenon it leads actions that dispose dalits and adivasis of their merger which force them into performing slave labor this act sets out to punish any who wrongfully occupies or cultivates any land owned or allotted to sc or st or gets allotted land to him transferred the act recognizes that crimes against tribal dalit tribal women are specific kind and therefore seeks to penalize anyone so strong laws came into existence like the government gave the land to the tribals and the scs now no one have the right to take the land from tribals government gave some lands to scs and sts now that land other people cannot take it however there are some crimes against sc women there are crimes against st women which were been taken very seriously by the government when compared to a normal crime on women why because sc women or st women is more marginalized when compared to general women main problem manual scavenging he should to go inside it he need to go inside it this is the duty of an sc individual who will be doing manual scavenging who will be cleaning the drainage means it is the scheduled caste it's a common phenomenon it might be urban area it might be rural area also today also shame in 2022 in all the municipal corporation 90% of the manual scavengers or the 90% of the people who are working in drainage cleaning or sewage department is scs scs why because from beginning they were been given a stamp like unclean people so you are unclean people you have to do unclean jobs like what cleaning drainage the scourge of manual scavenging manual scavenging refers to the practice of removing human and animal waste using brooms and tin plates and carrying them to dispose in grounds you don't believe in villages in 1970s 1980s 1990s they don't have these pipes they don't have this tap system this is the reality there is no tanks on the top no pipes no taps most of the latrines which were been there all were been dry latrines 
so when upper caste family people go for a washroom in the dry latrines the sc people will come and they will remove by their bare hands and they will clean it which are called as dry latrines dry toilets it is a duty of this people why because no water no tap water in that way the discrimination exploitation on the scheduled caste mainly only those communities were been allowed to have a job called as manual scavenging you are sc no come and do manual scavenging in that way the discrimination was been there. these people were exposed to serious health hazards if the man jumps into it why he will not have health hazards in 1993 the government passed the employment of manual scavenging and construction of dry latrines prohibition act this law prohibits the employment of manual scavengers as well as construction of dry latrines means there should be wet latrines but not dry latrines destroying dry latrines members of safai karmachari andolan bejawada wilson you know there is one person called as bejawada wilson he was a strong opposer of dry latrines he was a strong person who is against manual scavenge bejawada wilson he got raman magasase award also he is a person who is the founder of this safai karmachari andolan movement against manual scavenging adivasi demand in the 1989 not only scs not only scheduled caste scheduled tribes also the women were very very sensitive women tribal women exploitation of tribal women is a very common phenomenon when the mainstream people come into contact with tribals so that is the reason it is not just sc prevention of atrocities act it is what sc and st prevention of atrocities act of 1989 important for another reason adivasis activities refer to it to defend their rights to occupy land that was traditionally theirs adivasis were forcibly displaced the activist asked those who forcibly encroached their land should be punished this act clearly states that the land that belongs to the tribal people cannot be sold it to or brought to by non tribals means the land which belongs to tribal which were been occupied by the mainstream people it should be given back to the tribals and that land should not be given to the non tribals and the land should be given only to the tribals means the land which the tribals lost because of land acquisition because of displacement we want the same land so the tribals were been demanding their rights in the form of getting back their lands so the problem of st is land the problem of sc is untouchability if you understand this point you know today my class is successful what is that point sc problem is untouchability st problem is land displacement and finally the existence of a right or law or even a policy on paper does not mean that it exists in reality so any law any scheme any action which is present on the paper it doesn't means that it is real why because everything depends upon what implementation everything depends upon what implementation the reality will be very different from theory the law is a theory the action is a theory so when it is implemented properly then it is reality so such a sort of prevention of atrocities act of sc st should be implemented properly the untouchability should be removed in toto the lands which were been taken away by the tribal should be given away to the tribals people have worked constant constantly to make this principles the desire for equality dignity and respect is not new it existed in different forms throughout our history similarly even in a democratic society process of struggle writing negotiation and organizing need to continue so there is a need for negotiation there is a need for struggle there is a need for writing articles in the newspaper it's a journey it is not an end so when we want equal right it's a journey equal right cannot stop every day every day some or the other some or the other some or the other inequality injustice will be prevailing in the society you tell me now ncert 8th class student in the 8th lesson getting this much of knowledge why he will not clear prelims in the first attempt that is the reason this is the reality these are the practical things which happened in our country 
that is the reason in the yesterday's class also i told we are in a safer society we are in a happier society we are in the society where there is no discrimination people are not identifying based upon our caste whether you people know my caste no so we are living in a society which is mainly based upon anonymity i don't know your religion your caste you don't know my religion my caste so what will happen neutrality will be there unbiased society no partiality unpartisanship independent decisions will come independent opinions will come that is important for the existence of man every man is born independent then the caste came then the religion came so man will be independent when this discrimination inequality injustice are removed if it is not visible i will read it nothing recently the central government had come up with in 2006 a act called as forest rights act of 2006 which mainly talks about the tribal people will be given with land rights who lost their rights on the land they will be given with 4 hectares of land in the forest area so again giving back their rights again giving back their hak the rights uh, again giving back their lands again giving back their things which they lost by forest rights act of 2006 why because the tribals lost is land through forest rights act again i am giving back them lands this is about understanding marginalization and confronting marginalization the same thing is present in anthropology paper to 50% of the syllabus now if you do proper answer writing practice in the gs prelims come mains batch no 2023 you can get rank same seriousness if you maintain we will maintain we are made for it we are for commitment for us our word is everything if you also work in the same format 2023 itself you can get the rank 2023 very first attempt the same quality of classes will be delivered till the last february 2023 you should also have the same fire you should also have the same content that is enough last year our gs students we didn't give only prelims come mains we again we created 100% prelims revision of complete syllabus and we gave them 100% prelims batch 100 hours of classes daily 2 and 1/2 hours 130 to 4 today happened in this same platform they got lot of conference that we will clear prelims last time 40 students were been the 24 students cleared prelims last year this time 32 students went to mains interview now interview they cleared with 32 but for that what is required you know commitment lot of commitment lot of sacrifices if i am doing you are going to become an ias officer then how much commitment and how much sacrifice you have to do upsc result mainly based upon your commitment your discipline your practical nature also how practical you are that is also not theoretical practical that fire should continue every time which is called as obsession every time we should be obsessed by civil services i have to get the rank i have to get the rank i have to get the rank if that obsession is there you will get the rank at the age 21 at the age 22 at the age 23 if you become an ias officer you know the chance of becoming a chief secretary or the chance of becoming a cabinet secretary chance of becoming a principal secretary to the prime minister will be very high we conducted mock interviews it is there in our website see tk nair sir principal secretary to atal bihari vajpayee sorry manmohan singh he conducted mock interviews to our students you can also become a principal secretary if you get rank if you get rank at 26 27 means you can become secretary but chance of becoming a cabinet secretary or principal secretary will be very less why because it depends upon seniority like that so quickly you have to get the rank and you have to go any doubts tomorrow onwards you are going to have geography classes tomorrow onwards 4 to 5:30 i will also have take the class and economy sir also will take the class and from next week you will be having history classes also ncert history then you will have environment also you will have science and technology also for 1500 and 270 rupees for gst thank you